I'm Tim. This is my wife, Billy, and we've been going to Crossroads since Palm Sunday of 2020. We are currently in a community group with uh, Brett and Sherry Sutterly, and um, it's just a great mix of all kinds of different people. We have a very young couple that are just starting their life together all the way up to couples our age, some older people. It's just all different kinds of people, different walks of life, everybody coming together. And it's just such an amazing opportunity to share that with one another and to be able to be present for each other. When we first came to Crossroads, the church was in a huge transition. Pastor Chad approached us and he said, I've seen you guys here a couple of times before. Are you new? And we said, yeah. And he said, come with me, come to our community group. We're meeting right here um, at just after service. Please come and join us. We'd love to have you. We met with Chet's group through the spring of 2020. And then in the fall, they um, shifted us over to Brett and Sherry Sutterly's group. And that's where we've been ever since. Also Chet uh, asked us um, a few months back if we would like to lead a community group. And I, I've always felt like we, we're getting to that point of, of having our own community group. Uh, it's kind of the natural progression um, to move on. We've been with uh, our group uh, three years now. And it's, it's been, it's a great model, I think, for, for community groups in general. And I am excited, I think Billy's excited as well. Um, and a little nervous, to be honest. Yeah. A little nervous to lead our own, but but also um, excited to, to just move forward and do our own thing. Being vulnerable with other people at first is, is hard to do, right? Um, I, I come from a pretty um, choppy background, I guess. You know, I, I had some issues in my, in my uh, history. And so that's hard to talk about sometimes. And you're, you're worried about being judged and you know, how you're looked at and that kind of thing. Fortunately for me, I was, I was welcomed with open arms. So. Um, that was a great thing, but I think that's that's part of it. Um, also, you know, c community groups kind of keep you accountable as well. Normally, when we first get to our community group, everybody kind of comes different times. Um, so we're able to kind of check in with each other. Um, what we've started doing is coffee in, in the kitchen and just kind of check in with e each other and, you know, daily lives, weekly lives, highs and lows, things like that. And um, it creates a, a sense of family, and that's, that's important. There's no better feeling than knowing that you have people sitting around you that are fully committed to your, I think I said it before, your, your well-being and your walk with God, and it's just a comforting feeling. And sharing that, and like sharing, sharing burdens and yeah. joys and highs and lows and things like that, that's, that's awesome. Pick a group, have a group assigned to you. I think that's the way it works. Just try it. And if the, there's always the opportunity to say, I really feel like maybe this group isn't working for me for whatever reason, but you never know what you're going to get from the group until you get there.